Okay, so when you get into the inside of your unit, this is your first lighting touch pad that comes with the Lux models. As you can see, everything that's lit up that's blue means it's on. When it's white, it's off. So as you touch it, it'll be blue or white, and that shows you what you have power on to and off. Your kitchen soffit, your kitchen island, your kitchen. You have your scare light that was out on the front of the unit. Your awning lights and your cap lights. You have your step, your handle lights, and it also has, controls all your jack lights. And you have your dinette, and you have your porch light. And you also have a master switch that you can turn them all off or all on. That's how that works. Okay, so now we move back to the slide out. On your slide out, you have 110 outlets on both ends of the slide out. And then you also have one 110 behind the recliners on the wall. And there's a 110 plus USB ports up towards the center of the windows. Okay, on this model we have the theater seating, which is the standard seating. And how these work is there's a little metal rod down here that you pull the lever back and it opens and you kind of have to hold it and push and it closes simple easy now we come to this side of the unit and this is going to be your other your next light control panel what this works is the dinette the theater lights the overhead sofa lights the sofa sconces which are on the back wall your living room ceiling and your theater soffit plus it'll control the, t the fan that's above your head you also have a master on here where you can turn all the rear off and on whatever's on this pan then your sconces also have a touch button you can turn those off independently and always on the cabinet back here this is your thermostat that controls your zone one heating and cooling can air whatever the air is in here this reads it and that goes to the thermostat that tells you what zone one is up in this cabinet up here is uh, all your satellite prep and cable hookups and there's also 110 outlets and I'll open both covers so you can kind of see in there and then you also have your Wi-Fi Ranger is always mounted up in this cabinet so all the connections and all the wires run to this cabinet back here. On the end of the sofas, you have 110 outlets on both ends. Okay, now normally in the Lux, you have at least two windows that are emergency exit windows. And how these work, it's usually what has the silver handle with the red plastic on it and you just open it pop it off and the window drops so I don't recommend using these windows for any kind of air filtration you get a big breeze that window is going to end on the floor okay now we come to the main TV which your main TV has a push button release you can open your TV and you have lots of storage in behind it so if you add direct TV or something like that you put your direct TV box down here. There's holes in the cabinetry so you don't have to drill any. You can run your wires and hook everything up. You also have your sound bar, DVD player, and you have your fireplace. Power for the fireplace. On the fireplace, you also have setting for the flame, which controls the light. You have heat which is low and high you also have a timer that'll go from a half hour all the way up to nine hours pretty easy and you also will get a remote control for this okay next you get to your residential refrigerator just like at home you have a water dispenser on some, it's all what you order. But it's truly a residential refrigerator with one drawer pull out on the bottom. Option ice maker in the bottom with a pull out drawer.
This model comes with the dishwasher, which is an option on them too. You can get a dishwasher. Pulls out, works just like a home residential dishwasher. The only thing I like to show everybody is there's a lock button on there. When you push the lock button, when you're getting ready to go down the road, you want to make sure you're locked up, ready to go. Okay, the next thing I'd like to show, and everybody should know this, is when you have the frosted glass panels on your pantry, it's really nice and to know that it'd be real good to put a plastic covering on the inside of this glass because once it gets scratched, you'll see it forever on this side. So at the hardware store for a couple bucks, you can get some plastic to cover this, either a drawer liner that's clear or the heat shrink that you use a hair dryer to stick on that glass. It'll last forever. So there you have your shelves and here you have your drawers. There's also a 110 outlet in here. And you come around and you're at your microwave, which most of them get convectional microwave, which works just like an oven. And uh, you, it also has the features of the popcorn cooktop and all that plus you have defrost and all that just like if it was a, an oven you can bake pies and all that good stuff with this okay moving around this is your residential stove top but you have a light and you have three speeds on your fan pretty powerful. You could put a piece of paper up here and it'll suck right to it. It sucks the air right out. So on this side of the stove is always the window here has a metal shade. The reason why it's metal is because of the fire. It's RVIA codes. Then when you have the uh, gas stove of course simple easy to light. You just push in on it. You hear it click. Turn it. It'll fire up. This unit, we don't have the gas on, so of course it's not going to light it. The oven, same way. Push in on it, turn it. It ignites, starts your pilot. Then you turn it to what you want. Pretty nice residential oven. And you have a broiler, too. Okay, on this end of the stove, you have a spice rack. One ten outlet here. Uh, on the back side of the island, you have your carbon monoxide checker, CO2 detector. And that uh, detects any gases at all in the unit. It'll wake you up out of a dead sleep. It's 12 volt powered. Okay, now we get to your half bath, if you have a 39FB. So in here you have a 110 GFI protected recept. On here you have another panel touch pad, which is the hallway, which is the light out in the hallway. You have the ceiling in here, the accent light that's on the back of the sink, and then the soffit that's above the sink. In this rig you have three fantastic fans that work either manual, auto, you can set the speeds and the temperature, any one you desire. You just push up and down for speeds and up and down for temperatures. And you can put it on auto or manual. Of course, you'll get instructions for this. It'll tell you how it works. Pretty simple and easy. Now when you come up to the bedroom, you have a touch pad on the side of the bed over there that works your reading lights, your soffit lights, and your ceiling lights. 
all is done over there and plus all your reading lights have a manual switch on them too so if somebody falls asleep you can still turn your light off yourself without having to reach across and wake them up okay well, the other thing i like to show everybody on the units is our air conditioning flow is all the air comes through the round vents which are the round that you can move and rotate then it recycles through the square or rectangle vents this recycles the air so you're not pulling so much of the hot humid air from outside you're recirculating the air that's here on the end of the bed on the headboard you have usb 110 outlets there you also have 110 outlets on each side of the bed on each wall and in this bedroom you have a fantastic fan above the bed that works the same way the one in the bathroom does now in here you have your power antenna which is for the wine guard booster which is a standard on all Lux units in here this powers your antenna to where like a normal antenna that you'd crank up on a RV you might get six channels in this area but pushing this and having this power booster you're going to get anywhere from 30 to 40 channels just in this area. Okay, we come to the master bathroom. You do have a touch panel in here. Plus you have your zone 2 thermostat mounted on the wall above it. Your fantastic fan for this bathroom is there. GFI 110 protected recepts. Uh, your shower door, of course, comes with a lock. So when you're traveling, you want them all locked at all times. Also, I like to point out the shower head. To me, I recommend that if you're traveling down the road, I would take and unscrew it here and lay my shower head down so it doesn't rattle out and fall and banging on the fiberglass and things like that causing more damage than what it's worth. But you always want to make sure your shower door is locked before you start traveling. Okay on that touch pad there it has your closet lights on it which is here. You also have an accent light that accents behind the sink, plus there's a blue light strip in the closet that works on that same switch. Your closet, you have three drawers on each side, dressers. You have 110 outlets above. You have a shoe closet in the front that's cedar lined. Lots of room in here. On this side you have your washer dryer combo if you elect to get washer dryer. Washer dryer, pretty much uh, self-explanatory, they work real good. No issues with these. On this side you have your linen closet. It's a lot of good storage for towels and washcloths and things like that. Okay, so we'll go back to all the electrical. Okay, so here, this is your do Dometic thermostat. And how this works is the zone button gets you to your zones. Like right now it's on zone one and the heat pump's running and we have that set at 74 degrees. We push it to zone two, zone two is off right now. So when you want to change what's on in that room, you hit the modes. It'll go to cool, to auto, to heat pump, to furnace, to fan, to off. So your zone button gets you through your zones and your modes get you through what happens in each zone as far as cooling and heating the units. As far as programming and all that, I suggest you read the owner's manual and program it to what you'd like to have. Here's your fantastic fan for the kitchen. And you also have a hallway light system here where you got a master hallway bedroom. And on off for the master. 
Okay, now we're going to get into the main guts of the electrical components. So in here on the Lux Shield, you have your AquaGo hot water heater dial that you can turn from inside the coach to eco mode, to clean, to winterize setting. And the winter setting is just for making sure it doesn't freeze if temperatures get below freezing. You also have a water pump switch in here, your slide switches, which is normally dinette, kitchen, bedroom. Awnings one and awnings two. You have a, depending on what you get, but normally you have an awning on your dinette slide and an awning out over the door. In and out, pretty much self-explanatory how it goes. In and out and all electrical. If you got the generator, your generator start will be in here. Even if you get the prep, it still comes with the switch. Your sea level gauges, right now you can see your batteries in this unit is reading at 13%. Fresh tank is open, so there's nothing in it. Gray tank, it's got 13. Galley is open. Black is zero. Here you have the tank to go back between black one and black two. So in black one, we got 12.9 gallons right around there. Pretty much what I like to do is go back and forth between battery and my tank so I know I'm getting a clean reading on each tank as I go. That way I know I'm clearing it, going back to the tank and finding out what I actually have in it. This is your progressive dynamic surge protector. So if something would happen in the campground, you got hit by lightning or something, you could bypass your surge protector and still get electricity in the unit. I just recommend if you're gonna stay in a campground, a lot of electrical storms, you get one to put on the pole. It's gonna save any all the electricity from getting to your rig. This tells you what your inverter's reading. And the power you have on it. And the inverter only runs the refrigerator and the main TV is all it's wired to. Down in this electrical compartment, this is what we call the Firefly. And what this is controls all the light pads that are in the unit. So all the touch pads run off of this control box here. This is more or less your 12 amp circuit breaker box. As you can see, all the little yellow lights are lit up and all these are in. If it was popped, it'd stick out. And below that is all your 110 breakers, just like would be in your house. And they're all labeled real nice. You have two mains on the top and then et cetera below. But they're all marked nice and neat and can turn them off individually or whatever you want to run. The only thing else I like to talk about is this is a keyless entry lock. And pretty much we give you instructions on this, how it works. The power button to turn it on is right there. It'll chime at you. You take an ink pen, poke the button, push your unlock button, it'll chime to your remote. They pretty much chime together and then they work. And on the outside of the rig, there's also a touch pad. So you can do a combination lock, whatever you desire on here. But of course you'll have to read your instructions and learn how to use that and program your own number.